This is the Transformers Generations Titans Return Voyager Class Galvatron and Nucleon. The figure is part of the first wave of these Voyager Class figures for the new Titans Return series of figures. And here is the packaging. Very nice. And the, you know, the instructions look very clear on camera, but if you look at it up close, it's in a grayscale that's just really annoying. I wish they would go back to their black and white. You know, that during the generations, the classics, it was done in black and white, in white sheet with just black. I mean, whoever thought of, of the instructions being gray, man, it's very hard to just read the, the instructions. You need good light and all that. Comes with this really nice trading card. So apparently he's now a headmaster and not a target master or a titan master as how they're being called right now. And you know what? Uh, out of all, I haven't reviewed a lot of Titans Return figures, but this one is the first one I've done that I am generally very pleased with. I, I have some issues with it. I'll get to that in a while. But overall, I'm, I'm actually pleased with this one. Uh, I've, I've come to accept the Titans line as a hit or miss for me. Uh, you know, unlike the Combiner Wars, that I really either you hate it or you love it. Well, no, Combiner Wars, I actually generally like most of it. But here in Titans, I was just very frustrated with the Ravage, uh, a little bit with the, with Soundwave. But this one, first one uh, I reviewed that I'm actually very happy with. And this is, a, I think, a figure that a lot of fans have been waiting for um, to put in your chugger shelf, your Henke Classics Universe generations reveal the shield shelf, shelf without going into the whole business of the masterpiece figures um, this one will look great on the shelf mm. and uh, here is the uh, combiner war cyclones and I think it looks fantastic uh, together all right enough of the size comparison I'm sure you've already seen that I don't know. Uh, Sculpt wise, okay. I don't mind the kibble too much. I think it's this one's great. Kind of reminds me of Energon, not Energon, Armada or Cybertron, Galvatron. I don't know, but I, I do like it. I like the sculpt. Um, I wished that they would have added some wrist swivels. That's my only gripe with articulation. Articulation seems to be okay. There is a waist swivel because of transformation. That's great. The head. I'm okay with it up front, but on the side, it feels like he's wearing a mask. And that's what I thought they could have improved. They could have extended this upper piece a little bit more, like, like four millimeters, five millimeters, just a little bit more there, just like this one, so that it doesn't look like he's wearing a faceplate. It, it will, I, I know there are uh, limitations to the mold that they can't do a helmet on, full on helmet. But this one, it looks like, a, it really looks like a faceplate, like a mask. And if you look closely, there is, there is still a gap. There, there, there is some room for an extension of the mold. They could have extended it a little bit just to make it look like a pseudo helmet. And that would have, that would have made a whole lot of difference with this particular head sculpt. Uh, it, it's a small gripe, but he can still turn a little bit, but the hinges are just blocking the way. The, the walls are just blocking the way of the hinges, so that's the only way you can do it. Like, I don't know, 25 degrees turn on either side. Um, so, yeah, those are my gripes for articulation and sculpt. Uh, they, that, they, they could have done better with that. Paint-wise, great. Hardly anything to complain about. I, I did order the Takara. I hope it does come. Um, I think it's a lighter shade of purple and a lighter shade of gray. Uh, I, I'm excited for that one. I'll do a comparison video for this one. But this one is is great. Uh, on camera, it looks a little bit more of a bluish purple. It's actually more of a McDonald's Grimace kind of purple, which is, I'm very, very pleased with it. Okay, so let's transform him. Remove the gun. This It's so G1. That, that's what's pleased. That's, that's why I'm very pleased with this figure. Uh, go ahead and fold the faceplate. And remove Nucleon. Nucleon seems to look like a small Megatron. Kind of does. Well, Galvatron is Megatron. For those of you who are not lettered in the G1 <laughs> mythos. So we'll put him like that. He kind of looks like a gun, actually. 
Yeah, because it's like a small Megatron. We'll, we'll put that there. He can pilot um, Galvatron in alt mode. So he's a triple changer now. He transforms into his G1 cannon, Cybertron cannon, and a jet as well. We'll get to that in a while. We'll get to that now, actually. So to transform him, um, you need to be a little bit precise because the the pieces, they fall into place just right. The first thing you want to do is, why don't we do the... Why don't we do the waist first, since that's the trickiest bit. Okay, lock that in. This is made of softer plastic, I think. Oh no, it's stern. And then um, put these up. Maybe put these down now, so we don't have to bother with that later. Transform the gun. And this thing is, the gun is gonna stick in right here. Later. Okay, uh, once you've rotated the waist, this should lock, it. it should fold in. Open it up. A little bit too hollow for me. But I guess for transformation purposes, they needed to do that. Rotate, rotate. It's like a, it's like a combiner wars joint. And you have to do it really flush, otherwise they're not gonna stick together. See, I mean, it doesn't, and I've had trouble with this. I had to like, squeeze it all the way in. That way it's gonna stay in. And you make make sure the hip uh, armor or the, these hip pads, they, they, you fold them up. Otherwise the feet are not gonna go flush on that or the knee pads are not gonna go flush on that, on that hip. So if, if they join together, then you've done it right. If not, then you still have to push it all the way in. So it's a nice fit. Okay, uh, the nose cone stays right here, and this one, well, on robot mode, it's like that, and then in alt mode, you do that, and it's like a, this one is like a stand, like a balancer for him in alt mode, in gun mode, or in a cannon mode. Clear that out of the way. Fold the arms, I'll fold the fists, and then fold the, tab in the arms, or the, L, or the forearms. And these are the signature, I mean, these are classic G1 tank treads for the Galvatron cannon. And I'm just so happy they did it the G1 way. Oh, sorry. What am I doing? He's, he's on this way, obviously. And it's, it's done at an angle. He's, he's supposed to be resting like that. Finally, you just put on the cannon right here where the headmaster or the titan master fits in. That peg right there. It's going to go in here. Not here. Okay, don't ruin that spring joint. It's going to fit in right there at that hole. It's nice and snug. And collapse this. And there you go. There is Galvatron in his G1 cannon. And I'm just so happy with this one. I didn't have to buy a third party for it. Um, there are some pegs over here. I, I thought maybe he would just like that <laughs> I don't know there's no cockpit or anything except here we'll do that later but as far as G1 accuracy goes you know the old G1 toy was huge it was like a reactor that had it was straight it had these chubby legs now this one is more looking more like the cartoon um, albeit in the cartoon this was much thinner it was like that it was like a small very thin base but I, I, I don't care this is this is as good as it gets folks as, as g1 as it gets and then to transform him in his jet mode get rid of this fold that up get this up here right there Sorry. This one sort of comes in at an angle. Um, okay, I forgot. Okay, 
It's, yeah, it, it does it does fold in like an angle uh, at an angle and um, you see those pegs right there there and this is the, I, I thought they were supposed to be the wings or the thrusters I'm, I'm not sure but they fold in like that and it's a weird looking jet it's something like that uh, am I doing it right? I suppose that's it. Uh, yeah, that's as far as it goes. Yeah. And it's like a weird looking jet. And then the cannon, obviously, you can pull it back like that again. And then that, that peg is going to go there. Let me just align it properly so that the. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I suppose it could work. It looks like a Macross or a Robotech type of vehicle. And then here, this is the stand. And there you go. It's it actually looks okay. It actually looks pretty decent as a Cybertronian uh, jet mode. And then this one is a cockpit. You can put in Nucleon. Here is Optimus Prime, another Voyager class figure. He seems big because of just the way the things are arranged, but very, very nice. I mean, I didn't expect, I, I'm glad he, they didn't turn him into a tank anymore because that's all Megatron now. Um, and the jet mode is really, really nice. So gun mode, jet mode, robot mode, very, very nice. I, I wish they could have done the tweak it a bit. I'd like to give it a nine out of 10, solid nine, very high, nine and a half out of 10, near perfect. Titan's Return figure. I'm very pleased with it. Well done, Hasbro. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the, uh, oh, everything's caving in. Transformers, Generations, Titan Wars, uh, Titan Wars, Titan's Return, Voyager Class, Galvatron. Very, very pleased with it. Well done, Hasbro. Thanks. Thanks for watching.